All right, boys, so real quick, let's just address the issue that many people are worried about. And that's the fact that people are outraged and upset about the fact that more content wasn't released with the full release. And they're saying they just did it for money and just the advertisement. But they're also saying that the skin choices were put on underperforming and low damage guns. And for the first issue, Pavel has been free for years and we've been playing and enjoying it. And we all know it's about time for the developers to get a kickback for their work. And it's not a bad thing at all. And especially bringing more players is going to fill up lobbies and it's just going to make it more enjoyable for everyone. Also, when it comes to the gun skins, the guns are amazing. Just be happy you're even getting them. And also, just get better if you can't use them. And for the first one, we finally have the friends tab and it works. It's actually amazing. Everyone has been wanting this. Ever since the friend tab has been coming soon, everyone has wanted it. And finally, after the release, they added it. And it is just amazing. You just click on your friend here, join game, and it's beautiful. Biscuits. That's what he says when he gets his Xbox turned off. So first, off. I'm going to be talking about the new map, Harbor. And it's a really nice new map. Everyone's been hyped for it. And I'm going to talk about the bomb locations. So, first of all, when you go into the first bomb location, you're going to spawn and the terrorist spawn. And then you're going to turn right. And you just follow it all the way right as you can go. And then as you come up, you can see... Bomb site, guys. Bomb. New bomb site gone wrong. Next, we have the left way. Just keep following the left path, like, once again. And you plant the bomb there. One funny thing they slipped into this update is that the MP5 here can actually use the scope now. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty goofy. And also just to add, it's kind of weird. Uh, if you pre-order the game, you get all the skins, but for some reason, there's no way to turn them off and there's no skin tab here. So eventually maybe when they add the skin shop, you'll be able to select what skin you want and obviously buy skins and turn them on and off. But yeah, for now it's just, you're stuck with it, man. All right, boys, so if you pre-ordered Pavlov, you'll actually get a few nice skins here. We got five skins, actually. First, we have the Dragon Lore on the op right here. Looks very nice. Next, we have the M16, which has the little camo. This one's a very cool. Of course, you have the shotgun. This one might be one of my favorites. Just because of how cool the animation is on the stock here. A little, like, almost vibranium type material, and it just kind of pulses. It's overall just really clean and pretty beautiful. Then of course you have the glow in the dark little vector here, little T logo, and it has a very nice prominent orange glowing right here and in the dark it'll actually be able to be seen. And this one is also one of my favorites. The design is a very pretty, nice little gold gun here with the nice black on the top. Now let's talk about Pine Hill, which was actually previously added, but then removed because it was low quality. But now it's revamped. It looks very amazing. It's a very clean map, very beautiful. And for the bomb sites, it's very straightforward. All you do is just go left for the left bomb site and just follow it all the way. And there's just the two bomb spots right there. And then for the right bomb site, it's also extremely easy. You just go right, follow that path until you get to this spot right here. And that's just where you plant the bomb. Now, when loading up Pavlov Shack, the logo actually follows your head. Now, in Search and Destroy, when you're using the Buy Shop and you go to Upgrades, there's actually a lot more options. There's a Next and Back option for when there's too many, and you can actually buy a laser now, which has never been a part of the game at all. Never in Search and Destroy have you been able to buy a laser. Now you actually can. Now, for Continue Art, it's a very OG map, but if you go to the right, just on the below inside of the container, there's actually going to be a bomb site, and at the very top in the middle of the building, on the Tata Centers, on either side, you can plant the bomb. And this is actually very similar to OG containers, but the bomb spots are slightly different. There's a bomb spot instead on the top, instead of all the way to the right. And then on the left, of course, there's also a bomb site that is very similar. And one really weird thing that I noticed is that the bots just bug out really hard when you're the only player. At least in offline mode, not sure if it works in the other versions too. They don't even plant the bomb, they don't know what to do, they just kind of go to the center. And finally, a really interesting change I noticed is that now, only in Search and Destroy when the round starts, you'll be able to see the little hollow outline hologram of the bomb that shows you where to plant it. So in Deathmatch, TDM, whatever, you won't see it unless that Search and Destroy round starts. That's pretty much all for the video, but I'm definitely going to be coming out with some more content based on the update. And yeah, have a good day.